Okay, we are on 4.4, .4, the identity and inverse matrices now. Hey, hurry up in there! Identity matrix, it, uh, one's in the diagonal is basically what it is. See how I have one and one down the diagonal there? And there's a three by three. Notice how it's one um, down the diagonal there. Today is a very special day. Inverse two by two matrices. So to find the inverse, basically what that's saying is you do one over A, and then we see how we flipped it around. We kind of swap A and D. See how we swap it? We swap A and D, and you make C and B negative, and it's one over the A there. So um, one over basically that A stands for the determinant. So it's basically one over the determinant of A times you swapping all that stuff. So that's really um, what that is. It's really what that item is in there. So you swap them, right? We swap them and we make the other uh, two negative. I want you to feel like you can tell me anything, okay? So when we're doing this, uh, I have to do one over the determinant of A, so um, that's basically like saying that times uh, those two multiplied together minus those two and then I had to flip them around so that's what I have here one over one times negative twenty minus um, negative nine times negative ten and see how I swap these this was one and negative twenty now it's negative twenty and one these were both negative so I take the opposite of them that's why they're both positive so on the bottom there that's negative twenty and negative ninety so that's really like saying one over negative one ten and I have to multiply that now through to each item so one over negative one ten I put that in there and I get negative twenty over negative one ten which simplifies to two over eleven I get ten over negative one ten and that simplifies to one over negative eleven I get 9 over negative 110, and that can't simplify, and when I multiply it through, I get 1 over negative 110, and there is your inverse uh, for that. But, Mr. Minister, it isn't like this film is the first troublesome thing to come out of Canada. Let us not forget Brian Adams. No, no, the Canadian government okay, has apologized so for Brian Adams on several occasions. When you need to solve an equation, like let's say I have a set of matrices that all is multiplied by x, and it equals a whole other set of matrices. I can now solve these because basically what I can do is I can take B and divide it by A. But however, the point behind all this is you cannot divide matrices, which is why you need to do the inverse because the inverse of A is like saying 1 over A. So really, uh, this is like saying B times 1 over A, which is like saying the inverse of A. So really if you take the inverse matrix of A times B, you can solve for the equation. So if I gave you a problem like this, if I did the inverse of A, and I multiplied that by B, I could find the answer. So once again, so you can see the formula, that means I do 1 over 4 times 1 minus negative 3 times negative 1, and see how this was 4 and 1, I swapped it, now it's 1 and 4 and these were both positive or negative so the opposite would be positive so four times uh, four and that's a three so four minus three is one so really it's just one times all that so it's one one three four that's the inverse matrix what are those weird things? so now I have the inverse matrix and now I have B so now I can actually multiply the two together so remember when you're doing that it's the first row by the first column so 1 times 8 plus 1 times negative 6 which is 2 then it's the first row by the first or sorry the second column so 1 times negative 5 plus 1 times 3 which is negative 2 then it is the second row by the first column so 3 times 8 plus 4 times negative 6 which is 0 then it's 3 uh, the second row by the second column which is 3 times negative 5 plus 4 times 3 which is negative 3 and there is your answers for each of your x's alright so the reason that you would use something like this is for a cryptogram and it's a secret code that can be solved through matrices so find the inverse of A to decode the message. So basically what we're saying is here's A. If you find the inverse matrix for that, it can help you solve this code. So what we're going to do is I'm going to separate each of these into twos. And the reason why I separate them into twos is because this is a two by two.
and because it's a two by two matrix I can only multiply this by something that is in a group of two so it either have to be um, a two by one or it have to be a one by two and since they're all going across that's why I made them in groups of two because this is a two by two and remember you can't multiply matrix together unless they have the same middle term so anyway gotta find the inverse of this so it'll be one over three times one which is why that's there minus negative two times negative one and see how I swap these so it's one and three instead of them being negative they're positive so negative two times negative one is two and that's three so three minus two is one one times all of that is one uh, one two and three so what I'm saying is I have to multiply each of those so this one by this one and when I do that it's saying this row by this column and I end up getting two and this row by this column and I end up getting a five so I have two five as my answer then I have to multiply this one by the inverse and I end up getting that then I multiply this one by the inverse and I end up getting this set and by the fourth one by the inverse and I end up getting this multiply the next one by the inverse and I get that then I multiply the next one by the inverse and I get that then I multiply the next one by the inverse and I get this then multiply the next one by the inverse and I get this and I multiply the next one by the inverse and get this now you can keep doing all this or better yet if you plug all this in on your calculator you could probably find the inverse much easier but anyway Autobots, roll out. this right here alright that's all the answers that I got and notice I put all the answers in a row well this is what you need to keep in mind the numbers actually stand for positions in the alphabet and zero stands for a space so two is the second letter E is the fifth letter one is the first letter the thirteenth letter is M once again zero stands for space I already know that that stands for thirteen is M five is E there's a space twenty one is U sixteen is P zero is space nineteen is S um, three is C fifteen is O twenty is T and y is 25 so really when you put it all together it says beam me up Scotty is your answer I have been following your career with great here is your homework um, this can be a rather challenging section but I would learn how to use the inverse on your calculator once you type in the actual inverse or once you type in a there's actually an inverse key on your calculator that you can press to get the inverse of your matrix a which will make this inverse work a lot simpler so if you don't know that we'll go over that on some examples later but in the meantime try to get some practice at least doing a two by twos and if you need any help uh, please uh, email me